Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I am with Piggy Smalls, and we're gonna do a very quick video about ringworm. Now, Piggy Smalls has been known to have fungal foot. His feet actually look good today, except his nails. You're gonna get a full spa day. We're gonna clip his nails after this. But right now, we're gonna talk about ringworm and an easy way to cure it. If you want a more in-depth video about ringworm, I'll put that right here in the info cards. But I did notice, here let me see, you see there's a little white crusty powdery thing. Now it's very lucky for us that Piggy Smalls has dark ears which makes, makes it really easy to see. This is ringworm. This is the beginning of ringworm. I will also put a number of different ringworm images right here. So here you can see sometimes it's very crusty, sometimes it is on the piggy's eye or on their nose. Ringworm can pretty much appear anywhere. It just tends to usually appear on the ears, on the face, and as fungal foot on the feet. In this case, we see the beginnings of it on Piggy Small's ear right here. So that's okay because, and, and some people will say, oh, you have to have gloves. No, you just have to wash your hands. And since I'm gonna be using the antifungal, dandruff shampoo like this is antifungal. It has an ingredient right here. You see this zinc ingredient right there? That's what you're looking for. Most anti-dandruff shampoos will have this. Some don't, so you just wanna make sure that it has this zinc pyrithione ingredient and then you're good to go. So this is a generic version of Head and & Shoulders and I'm not gonna include a bathing video right now. I'm just gonna show you what I'm about to do, but if you want a dedicated bathing video, I'll put that right here. Uh, and so you can watch the ringworm video and you can watch the bathing video to see some of my tips and techniques But I love to bathe in a plastic bin like this. I like to make sure that the water is nice and Warm not too hot not too cold But the kind of bath water that I would like to be in and then you can use either of these antifungal creams so you want to do an antifungal bath covering the entire area, soaking at least for five minutes. No more than 10 is, is really necessary. And then you want to put the cream on once or twice a day, it just depends on how severe it is or if you, you, know, you can put it on in a thin layer. You, you don't want to put it on so gloppy that they are going to consume it. So this is gonna be just a real simple bath and I would like to do a bath, a follow-up bath, after three days, and then another one a week later, just to make sure that all of these spores have been killed, have been neutralized, and that's the best way to ensure that the ringworm's not gonna come back. But keep up with the cream every day. Use the antifungal dandruff shampoo, now it doesn't necessarily say antifungal, but it will say anti-dandruff, and that's okay, it's the same thing. It's just, that's just what you need to use. And you can find these in the dollar store, you can find them at any pharmacy and in most grocery stores too. So any, anti, these are different ingredients, but they both pretty much work the same. Some people have said that they had a really stubborn case of ringworm and they tried everything and it didn't work and then they ended up curing it with an oral antifungal. So you might need to go to your vet if it doesn't cure it, but I've never had a situation where I didn't cure the ringworm within a couple weeks or less of just doing a simple bath with the antifungal shampoo. And if you wanna spend more money, you can buy more expensive creams and you can even buy pet specific antifungal shampoo, but I've found that this works really great. So if you want more information and if you want you know, a place where all the links to these 
you know, if you can't get out there and go to the dollar store or whatever, you can find the links to these ingredients on my website in the illness section of my free guinea pig care guide. So I'm just going to give Piggy Smalls a quick bath right now, but I just wanted to do a really short, concise video showing you this is all you need to do to cure it. Now, if you're not sure if your piggy has ringworm or another skin condition like mange, in that same illness section, I have a video, and I'll just link that video here also called Mange or Ringworm, what's the difference? And just to specifically summarize, ringworm is a fungus. It's not a worm, this is just a little fungus. It's like athlete's foot. It's a little, you know, it's very similar also to the kind of airborne yeast that we use to make bread. It's just a fungus and mange is actually a microscopic parasite. So you, you know, you could do this washing, you know, a hundred times, and if it was mange, it would never cure it because mange is a parasite and ringworm is a fungus. And you gotta be very careful with the mange medicine. Ivermectin, if you do too much, can be toxic. But I have a link to that medicine on my website. But if you have ringworm and you try to treat for mange, it's not going to do it. Because again, mange is a parasite and ringworm is a fungus. So you got to know your foe, right? Check out the illness section of my free guinea pig care guide and read my entire care guide. And you will learn everything that I've learned after many years volunteering at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. So I hope this has been helpful, and I'm going to get to bathing. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs> Look at your hair. You're being such a good boy, Piggy Smalls. Oh, come here. Let me see. Let me see your face. Look at that. You look like Ferris Bueller in the shower. You're punk rock. <laughs>